We at Japanese Classic Car Show would like to thank everyone from around the world who submitted a car for consideration to World Matsuri Week and JCCS. We hope you enjoyed the past week's featured Kyusha from the 1960s to the 1990s. And if you want even more, head over to JapaneseClassicCarshow.com to view the gallery of every car that was entered this year. Before we get to our awards, we'd like to say a word about Peter Brock and Brock Racing Enterprises. As you know, from its humble beginnings in 2005, Japanese Classic Car Show has grown into the largest exhibition of vintage Japanese automobiles in North America. And along the way, we've developed relationships with some of the leading lights of the automotive industry. Among them is the legendary Peter Brock, founder of the influential Datsun racing team, Brock Racing Enterprises. Mr. Brock does not attend very many car shows, so we have been especially honored to have him as our special guest at both our 10th and 15th anniversary shows. Count yourself lucky if you were able to get his autograph at one of these events. Today, from their headquarters in Nevada, BRE continues to offer a number of their signature products to enthusiasts, from performance parts and accessories to officially licensed apparel and collectibles. To learn more, visit their website at bre2.net. Also, if you watched our World Matsuri Week preview videos, you may recall our shout out to well-known 510 builder Akio Hirano. Akio is widely believed to be the first tuner to perform an SR20 swap into the venerable 510 platform. At the moment, Akio is working on a very special project, an homage to the famous BRE Brockbuster 510, arguably one of history's first Japanese tuner cars. Akio's partner in this build is none other than Mr. K. Miura, CEO of TRA Kyoto Pandem Rocket Bunny. Together, they're crafting a unique 510 with Honda K-Series power and Nissan S13 underpinnings. The S13 cross members will create a wider than stock track necessitating the development of new Rocket Bunny overfenders designed in tribute to the BRE original. These new overfenders will eventually be produced for sale to the public. And now, just for you JCCS 2020 viewers, here's a special greeting from Peter Brock. Take it away, Mr. Brock. Hey, JCCS fans. Peter Brock here, out of BRE in Anderson, Nevada. Boy, everything is going really cool out here, but I tell you, we're really looking forward to the new JCCS virtual show this year. It's going to be a chance to see all the cool stuff that's going on in a whole different way. But uh, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing out here at Henderson. We're building some new aero vault trailers, in case you haven't seen them. We've got some new sizes, the new 16-foot shorty, of course, our standard 19s and the new T model, tall ones for uh, guys with all the classic stuff. So uh, let's see all the cool stuff that's going on right now with uh, 510 racing and stuff. If you've done any of that, uh, you should go out and see any of that stuff that's going on right now uh, because there's some really cool cars being built. Uh, uh, Rob Keller out of, uh, Rob Fuller out of San Jose is building some beautiful cars. Uh, Randy Jeffy has this uh, beautiful reproduction of his BRE 73 car. And of course, Troy Irvish builds the best 510 stuff out there. So, hope you'll see all of these cars on the show. And uh, we're kind of sure miss seeing all of the fans and stuff out there, but I'm sure we'll see some of the great cars, especially like Eric Schulhoff's uh, original BRE Zonker. You know, that was a great car. It turned out it's the uh, BRE Dotson. Uh, Brockbuster, that car has been completely restored. It was at SEMA this year. Looked just fabulous, so hope to see that. And uh, hey, Aki, how are you? How are things going in Japan? Peter-san, how are you? I'm now going to be a part of Brockbuster 2 of the name of Brockbuster 2. The base is here. え、ドラマ
またお会いしましょう Speaking of TRA Kyoto Pandem Rocket Bunny, we've got a special entry from Japan, Mr. Miura's custom Yamaha Passol Gentsuki scooter. Popularity of these scooters in Japan might even exceed that of cars, and we're grateful to Mr. Miura for creating this Passol just for JCCS. And now, here are the 2020 Japanese Classic Car Show Kyusha Workmanship and Presentation Award winners. JCCS appreciates the participation and support of everyone who submitted their cars for World Matsuri Week this year. The cars chosen as award recipients are being recognized for the quality of workmanship or preservation that went into them, as well as for those who went the extra mile in the quality of their submission materials. Lance Sugiyama, Honolulu, Hawaii, 1976 Datsun 280Z. A member of Team Old School Imports of Hawaii, Lance's S30 is comprehensively modified, including a 3 liter L28 and custom fabricated Genos and fender flares. Steve Tetrio, New York City, New York, 1967 Datsun Sports 2000 Roadster. Datsun Roadsters have long been among the most popular Japanese cars among collectors, and Steve's stock original 67 is an especially fine example of the breed. Katsuo Maihara, Minami, Japan, 1974 Mazda Rotary Pickup. These repus are a rare sight in their ancestral homeland of Japan, as they were never sold new there. Nico Yonganil, Hauda, the Netherlands, 1973 Toyota Celica. TA22 generation Celicas are especially popular Japanese classics in Europe, and Nico's long term owned 73 was the subject of an extensive restoration. Gilles Girouard, Montreal, Quebec, 1977 Toyota Celica. Gilles is the original owner of this Survivor RA29, which remains in nearly stock condition with only a few cosmetic modifications. Emmett O'Connell, Seattle, Washington, 1975 Nissan Skyline 2000 GT. Very rare in the US, Emmett's Ken Mary Skyline is a recent acquisition. It's lightly modified with a lowered suspension and Watts rims. Anthony Stevenson, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, 1984 Mazda RX-7. This Survivor first-generation RX-7 is one of a decreasing number of stock examples left in the world, and Anthony's car is an unrestored original. I'm Anthony Stevenson, and this is our 1984 Mazda RX-7. Hi.
Shinji Kaneko, Tokyo, Japan, 1981 Honda Accord. Just as JDM versions of cars have become popular here in America, USDM exports are highly coveted in Japan. Shinji's Accord is an original survivor example of the latter. Ken Widener, Topton, Pennsylvania, 1971 Honda Z600. Part of a large collection of vintage Hondas, Ken's Z600 was the subject of a ground-up restoration with the addition of many JDM touches. Henning Durkelboten, Nestung, Norway, 1982 Toyota High Ace G20. A former rural fire engine, this High Ace has only 14,000 kilometers from new, and Henning tells us that this van still looks and smells like a new car. James Anderson, McGrady, North Carolina, 1979 Toyota Celica. With only 6,500 miles on its odometer from new, James's Celica must be one of the lowest mile, most original A40 generation Celicas in America. Masafumi Eto, Yamanashi, Japan, 1992 Acura Integra GSR. This Resto Mod Integra features a Coda B17A1 race tuned engine, MI spec coilover kit, and USDM Integra inspired interior. Hi, my name is Masakumi Eto. This is my car, 1992 Acura Integra GSR. Kyle Murphy, Miami, Florida, 1998 Nissan 240SX. This car boasts a heavily built KA24DE turbo power plant, a Fortune Auto coilover suspension, numerous JDM components, and a BMW Laguna Seca blue paint job, creating one truly unique S14. Danny Aguirre, Carlsbad, California, 1994 Toyota Supra. Danny has owned this extensively modified Mark IV Supra for over 10 years and is showing it at JCCS for the first time in 2020. Oliver Severino, Yuma, Arizona, 1990 Nissan Skyline GTR Nismo. One of only 560 R32 Nismo GTRs built, Oliver's Skyline has been uprated with numerous Nismo tuning parts. Leo Donnell, Los Angeles, California, 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 WRC. A homologation special, only 2,500 of these ST205 generation GT4 WRCs were produced. Lee's car is a stock original JDM example. Koji Sakamoto, Nara, Japan, 1993 Toyota Corolla GT. This innocuous looking super white AE101 is a project in progress sleeper build with a 20 valve 4AGE under the hood. Marvin Jansen, Gelderland, the Netherlands, 1983 Mitsubishi Galant 1600 GLX. 
Marvin's Gallant was originally sold new in Germany and has been owned in Holland since 2009, where the car received extensive underbody rust repair to help keep this final generation rear wheel drive Gallant on the road for years to come. Nick Dewan, Sammamish, Washington, 1989 Nissan Laurel C33. Rare in the United States, this Laurel is powered by an RB20 DET and rides on an Apexi coilover setup. Nicholas Hammond, Gilbert, Arizona, 1992 Mazda MX-5 Miata. This creatively modified Miata is the result of an exhaustive multi-year build that includes a 1.8 liter swap, a full custom leather and suede interior, and a bare metal repaint in ND ceramic white. Rob Pia, La Puente, California, 1994 Acura Legend. This Resto Mod Legend sedan has been personalized with the addition of numerous JDM trim pieces, as well as pulled front and shaved rear fenders. Matt Mears, Queensland, Australia, 1988 Toyota MR2. Only 930 AW11 MR2s were imported into Australia, and Matt's car has survived almost 300,000 kilometers in fine style, with the addition of numerous original TRD accessories. Dan Zubkoff, Katy, Texas, 1947 Datsun 2224 pickup. The oldest vehicle entered in JCCS this year, Dan's 2224 is one of very few of these wood-framed metal skin trucks remaining in existence. Merlin Blackwell, Clearwater, British Columbia, 1964 Nissan Cedric 1900 Deluxe. This Cedric sedan is a rare Canadian market export version and was the subject of a complete nut and bolt restoration it's one of three Cedrics in Merlin's collection. Yasunari Sugiyama, Kanagawa, Japan, 1966 Toyota Sports 800. This creatively modified second year Sports 800 comes to us from the head of Japan's Toyota Sport 800 Owners Committee, and his passion for these groundbreaking nostalgic sports cars is evident in the quality of this entry. Karen Hamer, Mordialic, Australia, 1965 Prince Skyline GTB. Only 331 Prince Skylines were imported into Australia, and Karen's creatively modified example is one of only about 120 still in existence. Gerard McKenna, County Monaghan, Ireland, 1978 Toyota Celica GT. This Celica was the subject of a bare shell restoration, including many genuine new old stock parts, but still houses its original 18RG twin cam engine. Nobukazu Kataoka, Okayama, Japan, 1975 Nissan Fairlady Z. This Restomod S30, powered by an OS Geekan TC24B1 engine, makes its debut at JCCS this year. Congratulations to all of this year's Kyusha Workmanship and Presentation Award winners. And now, here are the JCCS 2020 Magazine Awards, as selected by our media partners. Each media outlet has chosen one car from this year's entries that best reflects the ethos of that particular publication. This year's Honda Style Magazine Award goes to Ed Wong's 1989 Honda CRX SI from Calgary, Alberta. Ed has owned this Survivor original CRX since new and has put only 110,000 kilometers on its odometer.
Japan's Custom Car Magazine Award goes to Josh Hansen's Honda Rod from South St. Paul, Minnesota. Based on a 1933 Ford, the Honda Rod marries the classic American street rod look with the power of a Honda D15B VTEC. The Kosoku UN, or Neo Classic Car Magazine Award, goes to Keith Yakushi's 1972 Datsun 510 from Foster City, California. Keith has owned this 510 since 1975, and at various times it has served both as his daily driver and as an autocross weapon. Now it exists as a tribute to the famous BRE Brockbuster 510. The Osaka JDM Award is presented to the 1992 Acura Integra GSR of Danny Vasquez of Provo, Utah. Danny's Aztec Green Integra has benefited from upgrades to nearly every component, from trim pieces to engine and suspension mods. The Super Street Award goes to the 1973 Toyota Carina of Oliver Ferrer from Escondido, California. An offbeat and refreshingly original choice for a resto mod platform, Oliver's Carina is powered by a Toyota Aristo sourced 2JZ GTE. Finally, the Japanese Nostalgic Car Award is presented to Atticus Solier's 1984 Nissan 300ZX from Windsor, Ontario. This Z31 remains faithful to a period-style 80s aesthetic accented by a well-chosen set of Watanabe rims. Japanese Classic Car Show would like to thank our many sponsors. We are grateful to you for your continuing support of JCCS, particularly in this year's unique online format. So thank you very much. Toyota Motor Sales USA, Nissan North America, American Honda, Yokohama Tire, Mother's Polish, Motul USA, Cabe Toyota, Tane USA, Z Car Garage, OS Geeken, OEM Audio Plus, Classic Fabrication, Moon Eyes, Function and Form, Toy Garage, Top Rank International Vehicle Importers, Star Road, JDMCarParts.com, Osaka JDM, Star Shark Colin Project, Utilitas, and Model Citizen Diecast. Special thanks also to Brock Racing Enterprises, TRA Kyoto, and Kaido House Diecast. What you want me